What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought these Bohm. I think it's Bohm, like Elizabeth Rome, who's smoking hot actress. Uh, headphones, and these are the B66 wireless headphones with active noise cancellation. To be really honest, I don't buy anything without the active noise cancellation in the headphone world anymore, just because, you know, <laughs> it is so useful. All right, so hey, I, I wanted to pick these up. I'm gonna unbox it here and uh, it might take me a minute so I'll, I might do this off camera but I wanted to pick these up because uh, they looked great now I will say I have read some reviews on these and there are some issues as far as I can tell especially with kind of uh, you know durability and so I want to kind of dive deep into that and see if that's going to be an issue and because of the reviews I read, so many people had so many of the similar problems. I really, to be honest, was pretty pretty worried about it. So uh, I don't know that I'll keep these headphones, but I wanted to actually take a look at them because I think, you know, I'll be honest, they looked awesome. They looked super cool. So first thing is, you open the box here and you get this hard case. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this. And and these Bohm B66 headphones are not that expensive. So uh, for a decent, premium, good looking uh, pair of headphones with active noise cancellation for under 50 or 60 bucks, or 70 or 80 maybe is a little closer to where I paid for, uh, I think, you know, man, they, they 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 could be really really awesome now my issue again with the the durability of them is uh you know something we're gonna have to kind of discover long term now you do get this hard case it's kind of in this you know gunmetal silver uh fabric material but this is nice i love the fact that headphones come with hard cases uh because that's actually pretty rare <laughs> Um, especially when you're paying for headphones and maybe kind of getting a pretty good price on them. All right, so we have a micro USB cable. Looks like it's pretty long, probably for charging. Then it looks like we have a three and a half millimeter inline uh, cable here. Looks like there's a you know a control button on it, maybe a microphone. So you could potentially use this as like a headphone, a wired set. But here are the headphones themselves. And and, and I, I like this case, man. Look at this. It's got this molded piece in the center where you can put your cables. It'll hold everything in place. The headphones obviously fold down. Uh, there's a net up here uh, with some information cards, but uh, I got them obviously in the brown here because I really loved this color. Now, the pictures are a little deceiving. I can tell you right now that this is like a rose gold color. It's a little hard to tell in pictures because uh, it kind of looks like silver. Per personally, I'd prefer silver or even maybe gold. I'm not a big rose gold guy. It just tends to look a little too pink to me and not quite an, enough copper but it does look pretty attractive i definitely would wear these uh but i you know it's probably just leaves a little to be desired you know if i were the designer i would probably just design them just slightly different uh, but they do come in other color combinations so kind of keep that in mind now they are pretty light and so one of the things that's kind of striking me is how light they are particularly compared to the other headphones that I showed you, like the Bluteos and the Cohen's, um, which feel much more substantial. Now, there's plenty of metal on here. You know, it's not just all plastic, but uh, one of the things that, you know, people have complained about is the head part, the headband part breaking. And right off the bat, I feel like, oh, okay, I can kind of believe it. So let's let's get into the, to the look of these a little bit. So these rotate. They kind of rotate on the post right down here, as you can see. So it, it stops there, and it's kind of a hard stop there. So they can only rotate one way in, both sides. They have a little bohm, uh, you know, placard on both sides. It's like in a, it's like in a brass gold finish. And they're three-dimensional. They're, they're really nice. I'm, I'm definitely impressed with that. This piece here appears to be a plastic little collar, or a metal collar there. This, too, seems to be a, like a little metal post. Um, all, again, kind of the bead blasted uh, matte finish is pretty nice. And I can't tell. I think these, this seems to be like an aluminum or something like that too, but I don't know, it has a little bit of a plasticky sound. And obviously you can see this chamfered polished edge right there. That's pretty nice. Uh, looks like you have a little speaker grill, so I'm going to assume that's maybe the microphone for, you know, taking a call. Micro USB port right there. Uh, maybe the microphone's in here. Uh, you know what, this might be a speaker for the active noise cancellation. That's kind of my bet. Uh, looks like one of these is probably an LED light. And then you have a couple buttons here. Um, Bluetooth, 
net, uh, minus and positive, so I'm assuming uh, track, advance, and, and reverse, as well as volume up and down. Uh, this button also might be like your mode button for answering a call or hanging up on a call or activating Siri. And then on this side, we have this little button here and another little speaker grill right there. So again, I think that's active noise cancellation. And if I turn this up, I think that is turning the noise cancellation on or off is my guess. There's a little red marking there saying, I think off. So uh, we get another little, I don't know what that, the pip doesn't even look like a light maybe. And then the three and a half millimeter jack right there, right? So we have that. You have uh, not a leather, a very much a pleather, but uh, pleather up here too but very, very soft ear cup. Now, one of the things I will show you is that it's a small ear cup, right? I can put my hand all the way around it. It's not even the size of a baseball. You know, it's pretty small. And so this is an on ear, not a over the ear, not a complete over the ear. You have a, um, like a plastic grill over the, the speaker there. I can feel it right underneath just kind of a, a few millimeters of very, uh, of loose foam on top of it and so you have that it looks like you have kind of a pleather black you know squishy band here too so you've got that but not not that big these are definitely gonna be on ear but overall I mean I just love the color scheme don't you no yes no all right so let's go ahead and put these things on and I will tell you about the function of them after I pair. All right, guys, so I've been playing around with these and they're pretty nice. Um, first of all, you can see there's like an LED light uh, behind the opening here and it's flashing blue, meaning it's paired and it's on. Uh, this is the power button. To pair it for your very first time, you're gonna hold that down for 10 seconds. That's going to turn it on and it'll turn on within a few seconds, but then keep holding it down and it'll go into a red, blue flashing mode and that's the pairing mode. And it comes across as Bohm B66, just pair it, no code. Um, apparently I didn't need one. And then uh, just seems to work. So that's pretty nice. Now uh, you do have two uh, buttons here, the positive and minus, and a tap will advance or reverse the track. So if I hit plus, it's gonna to skip to the next track, or the minus, it's going to skip back a track. If you hold either one of them down, it's going to raise the volume, and it does raise the volume on the device. At least on my iPhone, it raised the volume directly on the iPhone, which I do actually kind of like. Um, so you've got that functionality. Uh, you just kind of have a single volume control between the two devices. On this side, we actually do have um, and, and it looks like another LED in the three and a half millimeter jack, but the, the, there's an LED down here that does show that the active noise cancellation's on. So with that red dot showing, it means it's off, but if I flip it on, you can see there's a green LED, meaning that it is active noise canceling. Now, I was playing with this one, uh, both, you know, without playing any music and, and turning on the noise cancellation and then playing music and then turning on the on and off the noise cancellation. First of all, I will say that the noise cancellation works. Once I put it on without anything playing, turned on the active noise cancellation, absolutely a lot of things got much quieter. In fact, I was clapping in front of my hand, you know, tapping the table, doing some different things on both versions uh, or in both modes, and it absolutely works pretty well. The probably the 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 weakness is that because these don't totally fit over the ear because your ear is kind of you know a, a piece of material poking out you know you you have uh, sound leakage through your ear kind of uh, but they are pretty comfortable and even though they're not that big you know, they, they worked actually pretty well. I, I kind of suspect that if you have a really loud environment and you're counting on active noise cancellation, maybe not the best headphone for that, but they actually did work just fine. When I played on with it with on the music mode, the active noise cancellation absolutely worked too. Again, it's a little bit, uh, you don't get like a hiss when it's on or anything like that, but it kind of seems to like mute the volume level of the music down like two clicks too, right? It's kind of universal a lot on active noise cancellation headphones, but you just, you know, if you're really trying to listen for the, you know, high fidelity sound with headphones, you want the active noise cancellation off because it's just richer, bigger bass. This really does do a nice job of um, having kind of that low end bass and volume. So out of a small pair of headphones like that, I'm pretty impressed with it. But as soon as you turn on that active noise cancellation, you almost have to turn up the volume just a little bit and uh, it does work. So I, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, one of the things that I will say is I was adjusting this for my head, and as you can see here, if I push this in or out, it's just like pressure in and out of the headband here, you know, to hold it in place. There's no distinct clicks. 
And I think that's part of the problem, you know, that you have a really tight, you know, plastic bar up here, maybe with like a rubber liner or something like that to create the, the friction. And so you're kind of adjusting them over time and the plastic inside it wears out. You know, I've seen some where the guys have cut this open and there just seems to be a big plastic bar up here and it just breaks. Um, so, you know, if I'm doing this, I can feel that it's kind of flexing right up here. And if that's plastic and not just a metal bar, yeah, I can see that eventually breaking. Now, the thing is I've heard people say like, I put them on four or five times and they break. And the funny thing is, you know, it's right up here. It's right, not right in the top, but it's kind of like a turkey wishbone. It's kind of on the side. And the break seems really, really consistent uh, across a lot of different users. So I don't think it's a conspiracy. I just think that, look how close they are. You have, to, you, I've pulled them down here to kind of fit my ears. I pull them apart to fit my giant head. And this is under a lot of pressure, you know, right? I mean, the plastic up here is under some pretty serious pressure to kind of compress it and hold it on, and, and they should be. But if it's all just plastic holding it on, and then it's just kind of plastic round wound around these, these metal bars, these metal uh, tubes here, to kind of hold it in place and, and create this resistance, there's just a lot of... Uh, you know, pressure being put on a plastic piece up here. Now, I do think this is comfortable, uh, as you can see here, if I squeeze it, you know, there isn't really a thick plastic piece in there either. You know, this is pretty squishy. And so, you know, it's a little thicker right here, but I can see maybe a weak spot, because it's thicker here and thinner here, and I can see maybe a weak spot happening right there, right where you have two thicknesses of plastic. So it's kind of, I've got like, I must have electronics right up here, right to here. So it's thin here and thick right here. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but. So I'm not surprised. That is my concern. That's probably why I won't really use these as my daily wears. Um, I think they look great. They're probably better off for someone who wants to listen to something. Uh, it's kind of a spare headset, uh, to be honest. I think they look fantastic. You know, I'm almost tempted to get some of the other bones that are a little higher end than these. I think they have like an F2. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong about that or something. Uh, but, you know, if the construction is a little higher quality and kind of their higher end ones, I might try that because because I really, really love the look. I love the materials and this kind of camel leather um, it's or camel colored pleather. Uh, it's just, it's just a, a sweet looking headphone, but yeah, I am worried about these breaking, especially on a trip and then just not being useful at all. Right. If they break at the beginning of an airline trip, you're going to just, you're going to have to run a rubber band around your head to use them. So that's, a, that's my take on it. The Bone B66 look good, sound great, easy to use, active noise cancellation, uh, does work, but so many people have complained about breakage. It, it scares me a little bit. There it is. Peter Brown Panda out.